Hello, I'm John Bachman. Welcome to Newsmax TV. I'm joined now by Congressman Steve King of Iowa. Congressman, thanks for talking to us. Oh, thanks for having me in, John. Well, we had a big decision come out of the White House today. Uh, President Obama saying that he's not going to require or is willing to compromise, this is the word I've heard a lot of, on this mandate requiring Catholic institutions to offer birth, offer birth control for their health insurance programs. Um, do you see this as just one step, something else we'll see as more of this legislation, this health care legislation becomes official? Well, I've been actually arguing against some of the actions of the Republican Congress at this point in taking the lid off the pressure cooker on Obamacare and taking little pieces out of it. I just remember uh, John Boehner saying uh, within the week of uh, winning the majority a year ago last November that he had a lot of tricks up his sleeve on, on how to take apart Obamacare. And I don't know that we've seen all those tricks yet, and I don't know how many there's a definition of a lot, but the 1099, the squeal form piece, to take that out, and then there's less pressure to repeal. This piece that it looks like the president has decided that he's going to retreat from the Catholic Church on the imposition of requiring all insurance policies, all, all health care providers to provide birth control and con well, contraceptives, birth control, morning after pill, the Ella pill, which are the mornings after the morning after pill, and sterilization. He shifted that now, as I understand the document I read, over to the insurance companies. So instead of compelling the Catholic institutions to provide those things that violate the conscience of the church, he's compelling the insurance companies to do that. He can regulate them directly by just disqualifying the policies that don't include the things that he insists that they include. Now, as a Catholic, um, obviously you weren't going to vote for President Obama, but do you feel like he may have lost that voting block, the Catholic voting block in 2012 with, with this decision? There are a lot of Democrats that are Catholics, and many of them have very short memories. So I don't know how many he's lost. I think this is a strategic political move on his part, and probably if he was going to step in it the way he did, uh, he's done about as much as he can to recover, and he's still going to end up with the same policy. So if Catholics are well informed, then he, he has still hurt himself. Since there is this feeling now within the House, the, the GOP-controlled House, that there's not much that they can actually get through the Senate, what are some of the initiatives that you guys feel like you have to work on moving forward to get things accomplished and to get the economy turned around? Well, to get things accomplished and to get the economy turned around, I, I'll go to that for a second, but I think the number one thing we need to do is uh, very soon bring up the full 100 percent repeal of Obamacare to remind Americans that it's still out there and that every Republican still supports the full 100 percent repeal of Obamacare as if it had never been enacted. Rip it out by the roots. That, that must happen. And that message needs to get sent. I'd like to see Michelle Bachman's bill to repeal Dodd-Frank come to the floor of the House very soon and be passed and sent over to Harry Reid's desk to join the cordwood bills that are stacked up on his desk right now that he's not moving. Let me get your thoughts on the Stock Act that passed the House this week. Well, you know, if, if members of Congress have been so egregiously, egregiously violating their ethics, couldn't we find one that we thought didn't deserve to be there any longer? But no, uh, of some of the people have, and actually a very small number of people have gotten rich while they're in Congress. If you follow the ethics rules, I think that you can come to Congress rich and stay rich, but you can't come to Congress poor and get rich. That's the scenario. And so we have some people that have gotten rich. Getting, there's nothing wrong with getting rich, by the way. That's not, the, that's not my point. But uh, so what Congress has said in the, in the Stock Act vote is, we are corrupt and we're going to now, after this public scrutiny, pass legislation that says we won't be corrupt any longer. And maybe you can write rules so that corrupt people can't find their way around them. I, I'm not concerned about it. I'm fine with publishing anything that I might have for trades because I'm hands off on that anyway. But I, I, I think that it's, uh, it's an act of self-flagellation on the part of Congress. And so I want the exact dollar to be reported. I want it to be reported in a searchable, sortable, downloadable database so the public can go on the Internet and see incrementally if members get rich, how are they getting rich? And if it's explainable, that's fine. Maybe we'll learn a few tricks from them. But if it's not explainable, then there will be an investigation. That's what it should be about. It should be sunlight on what we do. Congressman Steve King, thanks for talking to us. Good to talk to you, John. All right.